Well, there was a big New Year's celebration in the small town of Brasstown. It is the 20th year for that New Year's possum drop. But as News 13's Kimberly King reports, with ongoing pressure from PETA, the event organizers suggested the rodent wasn't even in the box. Through the night with the light from above. We're there. We're almost there. At midnight, the possum decorated box hanging from a makeshift pulley dropped down in Brasstown. Three, two, one, Happy New Year! A crowd of more than a thousand revelers, including people dressing up to celebrate what's now become a well-known party with a possum as its official mascot. But well before midnight, men carried in a large wooden crate inside a possum nickname. We want everybody to be know that Opie is alive. They opened the box. Inside the crate, a much smaller box with a possum staring out and moving its head. This has been unbelievable. I come from San Francisco, so this entire day has been mind-blowing. State Senator Jim Davis also on stage supporting the event PETA has tried to stop. With all the problems that we have in this world and people are worried about, you know, a possum that's not harmed, you know, I just, I don't understand it. Just leave us alone and let us have fun. Of course, all eyes were on the box as it dropped, but it's unclear whether there was actually a possum inside there. Clay would not say. We never know what's in there. We know he's in there. Clay alluding to the apparent revelation that no possum is in the hanging box, but rather just in the wooden box. If we was magic enough, he's in there. <laughs> Last year, after a judge ruled the New Year's celebration's North Carolina wildlife permit invalid, legislators led by the Republican majority passed a law enabling a legal permit for the event. I think they just made a big deal about the, the possum. It's fine. It's well cared for, and it'll be fine when they let it out of the box. Everybody thinks they're kind of ugly anyway, so this is giving them some positive attention, I think. I'm perfectly fine. It's a rodent. With the rodent in the box and an assurance it has been well cared for, organizers say, as has been tradition, they'll set the possum free. In Brasstown on New Year's morning, Kimberly King, News 13. News 13 received this statement from PETA. It says, quote, PETA's unrefuted evidence from the nation's preeminent possum experts show that possums used at the possum drop are likely to die days or weeks after the event from stress-induced conditions caused by cruel treatment at the event. PETA has said the large crowd and noise is animal cruelty, and they vow to continue to stop that celebration.